Hello everybody, it's time for another episode of Killer Frequency, the game about a murderer who should have, of, who disappeared 30 years ago. Oh yeah, you're more of a torture post. And you're, you're also handling 991 operations. Okay. Okay. Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're going to get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, mm -hmm. then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16 the scream for now here's another hit record for you all to enjoy this is not what i signed up for peggy this is actually insane did she really say it's going to take her four hours this guy's going to kill mm. half the town in four hours forrest that's not helpful i know i know i just <sighs> who is this whistling man character anyway he was a serial killer back in the 50s Edward Marshall Mooney went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. He just did. And he's come back tonight? Probably not. Police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well... It was on this night, actually. The police cornered him, and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is, he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. I'm just going to turn up my mic phone. Lovely love that. All right. Copycat or ghost killer, I I guess we'll do our best. That's the spirit. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people at best. 35 at best 35 yeah it's a school night and what's the population of gallows creek i don't know exactly a little over a thousand. Oh. how many did you get before you know before my career exploded and i ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people yeah before that around five for most shows on the low end big gas could pump that up to 10 15 easy 5,000 on the low end? We can only dream of that. Five million. Million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. Time to turn the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? You know my name. I've come back from the dead to kill again. No one's safe. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. 
Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Like oh, his God. father and all his fathers before him. Teddy Gallows Jr. Except request. I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Maybe you must make Unlike a sacrifice to us. Sacrifice to us. I mean, me! After years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force his early retirement. Teddy Gallows Jr. I want cheese dusted pretzels. Oh. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Oh. Linda Cartwright. This oh. Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek. Goddamn kids. American I'm cutting him off. Help him become mayor. Take a swing. Yeah, cut him off. Gallows Creek. Uh. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is... We also want... For anyone just tuning in, we do, in fact, have an actual killer out on the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Peggy, what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Ugh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this That's whistling man character? I think level. it's funny. But it's not. Mm -hmm. It's not funny at all. And there's no yeah, chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Let's do this. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Why do to do that? Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, yeah, I'm filling in for 911 yeah. tonight. What's your name? What's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. Oh. I'm sorry, Sandra, but the sheriff is dead. We're trying to get help in from Henderson now. What? Oh. You've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run. I know some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. You went out for a jazz run? What, what is that? What is it? It's jazz running, baby. And I got my butt all the way back to my car before I got flashed. But I dropped my car around her. anywhere else you can go do you have any friends nearby oh i'm not going back out there i oh, oh shoot oh he's back oh, look i don't know anything about cars but i gotta start this engine without the keys and you're gonna have to help me wait wait, wait i don't to 189.16 with the by me Bobby not friendly neighborhood radio host but kind of I'm saying sit tight while the record spins folks this one goes out to you Sandra doesn't the station have a show about cars the Tamora twins or something Timberline twins talk motors yeah you know they're not even brothers really they look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Come. So many locked doors, so few keys. Just kidding. I know exactly where it is. This it's looks amazing. useful. Oh. Well, it's just a little bit. 
find anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. When you're ready, shut the music off. Oh, come on, I don't want to do that. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. Uh. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. Unscrew the steering column. All right. Exactly what you see. Why well, should the pet show not? We can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown a wire. Red. What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. I'm pretty sure this one is really quick. Perfect. I also see pink and purple. Yeah, what you're doing. Oh, one. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Safe. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, baby. Oh, that's pretty cool. We did it, Forrest. We sure did. Here comes another um, hit track that we're there. just excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, mm. Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? My Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about. What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Mm. Really? Miserable? It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago, or hell, it's not really anywhere. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... The world famous annual... Stab happy? Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be something you like about we this place. We got the Little Miss Harvest Patches, Princess Harvest Patch, and Harvest Queen Patch, and Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, some folks have been okay. You're not terrible after a while. Not terrible after a while? High praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night and that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. 12 for each. Wait, not a single minute. Okay, for us, okay, shut the please. music off. Good evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hey, buddies. 
My name is Brian. Brian Ponte. Brian Ponte of Ponte's Pizza. Hello, Brian. What have you got to say about what's happening? I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years, and Ponte's Pizza. Oh, you did really and as a thanks for all this harvest pageant, I just want to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza. Wow, Brian, that's really good of you. You really don't have to, though. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is oh. dive for more. Wait, we're we'll talking about the flower contest. And of course, our famous gore. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all right. The festival is brought to you by Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Mott. Coming on down to Pony's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Pony's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from what our sponsors. You, do that? you know how to play an ad, right? Sure. Done. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Broken Old Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller, Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons, Break. Oh, wait. Oh, the sound selection on this note. For sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, hey you there, safe donkeys and ponies, oh. apple bob and firearm, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried joe, seeds, wit and sand, licking, cracker, mm -hmm. cramming, and cat shop. Oh, oh. And fake tattoo, face paint and puppets, pet and zoo, amazing maze, oh, maze, square dance, and story swapping, spelling bee, clip and bee, and sewing circle, party, oh, 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 lawnmower oh, oh, oh. race, hot dog eating contest. I can see why it's world famous. It's a highlight around here, Forrest. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks, welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Let's see what our next caller would choose. Welcome to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie, this is Maurice Russell from The Gallows Reporter. Yeah. I'm in the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. Wait, Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. Let's God, another one? I don't know. Leslie's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie? Oh, never mind. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Yeah. What happened? Did you witness the incident? Mm -hmm. Are you willing to do an interview for the report? Mm -hmm. I can cite you as an anonymous mm -hmm. source. Mm -hmm. Are you concerned? Mm -hmm. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. I run. Damn it. All right. Obviously, a lot more going on than I know. 
Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. Okay, so he would be have to be a pretty fast as the runner from in the span of almost no time. Make it from the sheriff's office to the GI Either that or the multiple killer. But I was there. I covered it. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. They didn't live through the terror. Where are you now? Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. Set in the border. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Uh, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinet. How that? He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs oh, are coming. the only way out. That's yeah, yeah. right. And it would take me a good few minutes There's to no move those that. cabinets. We need to do something. But what? Okay, All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. This time, that could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah. Sorry, Maurice. Peggy yeah, and I were no. just trying to figure out. You realize how <laughs> stupid <laughs> that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. I might have to switch out my controller. What? I'm you, just going to do that you now. You don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. I, Russell. I'm here. And you didn't. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Wait, right, are you just going to turn off my controller? Is it muted? No. Good. Okay, oh, so yeah. Now I'm back. Oh, I've got Forrest, the fax machine is in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. What? Why can't I move? Okay. Me? Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. This must be it. Yes, I have. Time How to turn the music off. Music? Mr. Russell, you uh, you still with us? I am. You get my facts? Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him. Avoid the whistling man. Oh, Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the board room. Now, he's in the office next door. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. 
I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number, and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? You're moving to the archives. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. Heading to my office. Who it? was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. They're shutting off the TV so we won't see her on the security cameras. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. But now, what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Call incoming. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. Let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way. Not quickly, or quietly. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. Damn fire regulations say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. Mm. He'd be able to get out just as soon as we Got it. The secret archives. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. Who's Reggie? What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Peggy, I don't think now's the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. We can get him in there. Why are we I lock him in. Him. We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh. We're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? A sports report. Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns on. <laughs> That's the portable. That might be what we need then. Is his portable the radio still there? It should be. <laughs> what he calls his work should be here in the archives, actually. Let me just take a peek around. Great job, Forrest. Looks like you picked the perfect place. Yep. That was a uh, 100% just me thinking ahead. Exactly as planned. I found the radio. Not it's not right not where not I not thought not it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make it's sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. The radio works! If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Eh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Wait. Ah, oh, God damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? 
I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead! You just... Oh, that's a good point. I mean, you can't be that fast. But wait, we're the radio. We can just be least. quiet until you're ready. Eh, if you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16, I know that's your station number. But a good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? You got it, 189.16. Good, I've got the radio on silent. But I'm tuned okay. in. Now... I just need to get to my office. Okay, Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Really Where should we send the killer? Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? I'm sure. Make the call. Okay, calling the boardroom now. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Okay. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak to slip. What a great plan this is, Carl! Uh, uh, I'll give you an A for effort. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio's set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am the... Good question. It's under my desk, but, uh... I can you see know. under it. Seconds. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can yeah. trust us. Here we go. The land don't say something I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it! No more hiding! I'm a tough old man! I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive! Come on down, whistling man! Come and get a knuckle sandwich! Couldn't have been just not found the secret? Okay, so Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in... See you in hell, kid! We just locked up the Whistling Man. Yeah. Forrest, you beautiful bastard! <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked! And his wild If I'm being honest, I can't believe it either. Thank God it's over. I'll be off now. <laughs> Gotta get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. I this is feel gonna be safe it for while now. waiting for the cops to come time. grab I'll this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the gallows reporter. I'll think about it. Let's we'll see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon.